goal of trituration is to reduce the particle size of your powder ingredients. To correctly triturate your ingredients, you will need to apply sufficient force to effectively achieve the desired result. We're starting off with this granular, crystalline powder that we're going to place into the mortar and pestle. You can simply flick or tap the back end of the folded weigh boat to help get all of the powder out. What you don't want to do is lightly hold the pestle only by the top and softly move it around the mortar. This will not allow you to have enough grip on the pestle and, in turn, you will not be able to apply adequate force to grind down the particle size. Alternatively, to ensure that you are effectively triturating, you want to make sure you hold the pestle firmly in your hand and apply sufficient force against the sides and bottom of the mortar while stirring your powder. This will allow you to grind the powder between the mortar and pestle. Since you are applying a fair amount of force, it's always a good idea to use your other hand to grasp the mortar to hold it in place. This will take some time, but you want to continue mixing and grinding until you end up with a fine homogeneous powder. This grinding technique will allow you to reduce the particle size of your powders and, in turn, aid in providing the best possible preparations for your patients. Here we have the powder we just triturated on the left and the granular powder we started with on the right. As you can see, the particle size has been significantly reduced using proper trituration techniques. LP3 Network, a global leader in continuing healthcare education.